Hello guys, uh, you are welcome to the Miro ICT Advanced Level English Media Program. Uh, as a first uh, video tutorial, uh, I am going to start a computer network lesson. And uh, before I uh, explain uh, deeply about the computer networks, uh, uh, it is better to give you some basic idea about signals. Uh, which, which are transmitted through the air using a lot of devices. So in this tutorial, I'm going to give you some uh, information about signals. Actually, we know we have two types of signals. Uh, one is analog signal and the other one uh, digital signal. So first of all, let's see what is digital signal. Actually, digital signals, when you talk about digital signals, you know, and uh, nowadays in the world, a lot of people who are storing their day-to-day -day activities like voice photos, videos, and everything as digital data inside their mobile phones and laptops and other computer-related uh, devices. Uh, so, uh, one thing, so, some people, they want to share their resources with the people. And that is simply internet and the networking right when we try to uh, send some photograph to someone in there uh, we have some digital data actually digital data we cannot transmit through the transmission media so we have to convert that uh, those type of data into digital signals so digital signals are very important for us let's see what is digital signal then a digital signal refers to an electrical signal that is converted into a pattern of bits. This can have a limited number of discrete values actually. There are two types of values called ones and zeros. Because we know when we talk about digital data we have ones and zeros. Each and everything which is processing, which is storing inside the electronic devices, they use ones and zeros. The same thing when you talk about digital data, you have ones and zeros. The best uh, example for it computer signals, and this is the shape of the digital signal, and two separate values, discrete values are there. So when we learn digital signals, we have to think what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages for this type of signals. Let's see what are the advantages. So uh, having the ability of multiplexing, when you are using digital signals, when you try to transmit data with the help of the digital signals, we can do the multiplexing part. Right? Uh, and the security of the signal compared with the other analog signals uh, in security is high because uh, when you are transmitting data using digital signals so we can use secret coding right? that's why the security of the signal is also high sometimes when we are transmitting data one place to another we have to face some type of uh, errors that, that's why if you use digital signals, uh, easy to troubleshooting and correcting those type of effects. And uh, some uh, with some signals, uh, some outside sounds mixed with mixed with the signals. So if you want to remove those things, uh, if you are using digital signals, you can do it easily. And uh, easy to analyze and store because we know electronic devices which is used to relate digital data. If you use digital signals to transmit data, we can convert those digital signals into digital data and uh, easily store and easily analyze. That's why we can say that is also the advantages. If you want to reproduce the signal without changing the original signal, original signal means shape of the original signals without changing it, then we can reproduce it. Then ICs are used uh, to produce this type of signals. And uh, other things, uh, we have many advantages. 
But case is we have few disadvantages there. Let's see what are they. As a very bad disadvantage, when you try to convert analog signal into digital signals, that is difficult task. And a lot of errors we have to have at that time. That's why we can say errors may occur when converting an analog signal into digital signal. And the second part, so bandwidth, it's very important. That is the that is belongs to the speed of the data, and bandwidth is very important for the people when they are transmitting using a transmission media. So if you use digital type of signals, then you, you need a higher bandwidth compared with the analog signals. That is a disadvantage also. Let's learn something about analog signals. I think uh, that is clear for you. Then now you know what is digital signal basically and what are the pro what are the advantages and disadvantages there. So let's move to the next part. Then analog signal. Let's see what are what is analog signal. So analog signal usually represented by shine wave. When you touch on the water, then you can uh, create some uh, shine waves. A continuous electrical signal, which represents physical measurement actually. Right, so a very good example for it. And audio and video signals, we can say as uh, analog signals. These are, this is the shape of the diagram. You can understand what is the shape of the analog signal and that is also the shine wave. So in this type of signals we have some advantages and disadvantages. Let's see one. So what are the advantages of analog signal actually? So if you use analog signals, the accuracy is high. That means when you send some piece of data to another place, that data, uh, when you consider about that data, accuracy is high there. Then bandwidth. I taught you when we use digital signals we have higher bandwidth but for analog signals we don't want high bandwidth low bandwidth is used and we have some disadvantages of analog signals a cruel of outside sounds to transmit data that's why our, our original sound is changed a higher cost has to be borne when directing to a transmission media. When we try to direct some signal into the transmission media, in there we have to spend some so much of money compared with the digital signal. And uh, I'll stop this video in here. Thank you very much. Uh, this is useful for you. Please subscribe my channel. Then you can cover your syllabus. Especially this is focused for English medium students who don't have the proper way to learn, proper way to cover their syllabus. And after the end of this lesson, I'll discuss with you the questions. Uh, if you want to join with me, please subscribe this channel. Then have a nice day. Thank you.